Hi and welcome to this video. Today I will show you one awesome tips to, uh, with Cinema 4D and Octal Render. Uh, these tips will help you to simulate, to uh, render your um, animation very, very quickly. So we will start with uh, Cinema 4D and uh, I will use a little simulation with my uh, Turbulence FD container. I have a big, big value here, so it will, yeah, it will be uh, very powerful, horrible, but uh, it will be fast for our scene and for you. Uh, but mm, uh, okay, so uh, let's start. So I have um, an animation, okay, and I want to see my flames uh, simulation uh, on this scene. So uh, what I have to do is to uh, create my, my scene with, and my animation and go in your um, in, in this panel. Okay, you enter your, your the size of your image, your uh, the speed, and you choose the physical uh, render. And you go here. You select the progressive one and. Uh, pass number and you choose just one. Uh, so when you will start the render, you, uh, Cinema 4D will uh, calculate one pace and go to the frame number two and calculate one pace, etc., etc. So I, I want to. S oh, I want to. S okay. So uh, in uh, save you will uh, use the film AVI or QuickTime. Mm -hmm and you just have to press your render and your uh, the name it's not working we have simulate while rendering yes render so um, okay it's usual cyborg automotive Wait two seconds, please. Tur Turbulence FD always crash on my computer. It's very uh, horrible. Um, welcome in MD community uh, darknet. It's a very large community of French and anglophone people, and uh, you can share your work and ask some questions to the community. We are mm, so. Okay, under yes. So the first peak is very uh, is long to calculate because uh, Cinema 4D has have has has to um, to preset your scene, but the other frames are very very fast. I test uh, so simulating free dynamics. So if it's long, it's just because we have a turbulence FD scene. And not uh, my uh, my tips. Okay, now we have nice flames. Our car, thirty four second, and the second frame is about six second. So it's very very nice to uh, to do these tips to see to see your full animation with a nice um, uh, quality. Yes. So uh, with uh, Octan Render, you have to go on your Octan Render here, and uh, after create all your scene, etc., you go here, you enable it, and you put one sample. me, and you put just one sample on it. So uh, Octan will calculate the first sample. It's very very fast, and then the second frame, one sample, etc. The render is is nice. You can see the simulation. Uh, there are a lot of grain, but you can see uh, what you have to do or what you have to change to uh, improve your render or your animation. And it's uh, it's very very nice. I recommend you to don't uh, activate your multi passes. It takes some time for nothing because you. You can check your passes uh, for one frame, it's okay for all. Uh, here you can see I have my animation and it's it's very very fast, but uh, I have preset uh, 2000 EPS here and 
here and to do my slow motion I just have to put here 25 and you can see that it's in slow motion and it's very fluid and uh, slow motion so uh, you it's not uh, you, you don't have to go in after effects and take your your movie and put it in you can do it uh, directly in cinema 4d so it's a very very powerful uh, tips for all people who loves to create some animation in their in their scene okay so uh, see you guys, I hope you, uh, you understand me, I hope you like these tips, I hope you like uh, this channel. Uh, do not forget please to subscribe and comment and like this video. Uh, don't forget to hit uh, this bell for, uh, for notifications, uh, you, you will have here. And uh, see you soon uh, in the MD community. Uh, ciao guys and uh, see you for the next tips. Ciao!